Hello, hello. So I have a modded Minecraft server and it's running Minecraft 1.12.2 and I thought I would let people in on it. It is whitelisted so I kind of need your player name and you can send me like personal message on YouTube. Uh, but the thing is with this server is that it's it's not running a mod pack like the FTB mod packs or whatever. I just download the, the mods myself and install it that way. So to be able to connect to the server you, you need to have the same mods as I do. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install that on the default Minecraft launcher. So this is how it kind of looks like. I just logged in here and uh, started the game once. So this is how it looks after that. So to be able to do this, uh, you need to close this launcher because you need to install like Forge. So what you need to do is, uh, for example, here are the mods that I use and there's a link to this list in the uh, video description because I share this document. All the mods and version numbers and then the links to the mods. So for example, just click this one. Uh, if you want to go to Forge, just uh, hold your arrow key above the link and you get this window here. So you just click on that link and you get to the Forge mod loader and just uh, download the latest version, click the Windows installer here so download and stuff um, and here's another thing, if you don't want to go to uh, all these sites and download, I actually have a uh, zip file with the mods that I use in it and you might not or I might not uh, allow to do this, but I don't really care. <laughs> so uh, by default, this uh, download Mega Desktop app is is enabled. Just uncheck it, and I click download, and you get all mods that I have, except for Forge. Uh, just go to Forge here and download it. And then you actually need to install Forge, and that's why you need to have the Minecraft launcher closed. So this is how the, it looks like when you have downloaded Forge. So uh, just double click on the latest one here. And you might get a sort of Windows 10 warning here. It's a window saying it's not secure or whatever. But this is secure, it's Forge mod loader. And there's a button somewhere saying uh, continue anyway. So click on that one and you get to this window. And all you need to do here is to click the OK button. And it will download and install Forge. And this might take a while depending on your internet connection and stuff like that. And it's installed, so we just click OK. So now you can actually open the launcher again. And what I'm going to do here is that up in the right corner here you see the three lines. So I click on that one so you get these options here. And I go to the launch options. And then I'm going to click the enable or enable the advanced settings here. Click OK. Then I click on Forge, the Forge profile that it created. created. So I just go to the Forge uh, like that. And what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to give Forge a little bit more memory. Um, right now it's set to one gig, but I'm having I have 16 gigabyte of RAM in my computer. So I uh, choose half of that, so that's 8 gigs, 81 into 2, and I use megabyte like that. I think you can actually just use 
capital J A G. So let's try that. Save. And then we go to the back to the news here. And here you see this thing, and you got an arrow to the right here. Uh, I click on it, and you got your profiles here. And I'm going to select. You see, right now it's the uh, just latest release selected, but I want the Forge one. So I click on that. And now it says the Forge stuff. So click on that. And it's just so that it will create some config files and stuff. Okay, so now you have Forge installed and you also got this mods button. And you basically only got mods that comes with Forge, so nothing else. Turn off that music. Whoop. Turn down this one as well. And quit. And now you actually need to install the mods. And I, of course, already got. So this is the, when you unzip the thing you downloaded for me, you get these mods. And just select all of them, Control A, and copy them. And what you need to do now is that uh, either there are two ways to access the uh, Minecraft folder. Either you do it from the launcher, uh, you go to launch options and then click the forge profile. And I think it is right here, game directory, yes. See the green arrow there, go to folder, like that. And you are now in the Minecraft. And here you see there's a mod folder. So just go in there and just paste the mods in here. That's one way of doing it. Uh, the second way of doing it is to go through the start menu and type percent percent app data percent and then enter. And here you have a bunch of stuff, and at the top you have the dot Minecraft. So over here it's the same thing. Here you have the mods, the resource packs, your world saves and stuff. So that's the mods, and here you see all the mods. And now you basically start the uh, launcher again, and make sure that the it's the forge profile that is selected. And just play. And it will now, uh, it might take a little longer to load uh, Minecraft because it's going to create a bunch of config files and stuff. And there you go. And now you have in the mods, you have, you see, you got 19 mods. <laughs> So we got a bunch of more mods here. So yeah. So that's how you actually install mods. The default Minecraft launcher. So yeah. And there you also see that Optifine is there. So you don't need to install Optifine. Just place it in the mods folder. And it's there. So yeah. So that's how you install mods, so uh, see you later.